But can you think back to the day when you first started to learn to drive? Remember how hard it seemed? You wondered if you'd ever be able to jump into the car and drive like the kid next door. You had trouble remembering which gear was which. Occasionally, with almost disastrous results. In a surprisingly short time, you forgot all about the gear shift and the steering wheel, and which pedal was the clutch and which the brake. And as the business of driving became more and more automatic, it was possible to devote most of your attention to matters much more important than the mere mechanics of operating the car. By now, you really had the feel of it. How do you get from learning to just doing? The path to complete knowledge, intrinsic understanding, and full immersion into any craft that requires you to marry the physical with the mind could be oil painting, playing piano, sculpture, carpentry, gardening, whatever, anything, it's all the same. In the beginning, whether you're learning to do any of those things or learning to fly, it's about learning the basics, the fundamental physics of flight, how the controls feel, what all the gauges and gizmos are telling you. And over time, your body starts to make sense of all the new sensations. You were learning to fly when you first learned to ride a scooter. Maybe you didn't know enough to bank the first time you went around a corner, so you fell over on the outside of the curve. Or maybe you banked it too much and fell off on the inside. But after a while, you got so that you could tell by the feel of it whether you were banking right. Well, in flying an airplane, you use that same sense of balance you learned from riding the scooter. Eventually, you gain enough experience and knowledge to start correlating how everything works together. As you're putting that puzzle together, you're also thinking about each phase of flight and what is required and how things should look, your sight picture. What does being too high on final approach really look like? And then you begin to focus on the grace, the efficiency of the movements. What does a coordinated turn really feel like? How do you make only the smallest corrections when you're trying to get aligned with the center line of the runway? How much rudder is really needed to straighten the nose of the airplane? After you go through all of the pieces of the puzzle, you stop thinking so much. You stop hyper-focusing, fixating, you stop analyzing, and eventually you just start doing. Eventually you begin to just feel it. You can feel when you're getting low or fast or unstable. You can tell when a turn is not really coordinated and you're slipping or skidding through a turn. You can tell by the sound of the engine if you are at the correct power setting. Your senses have logged enough information to do real-time comparative analysis in the background, not in the forefront of your mind. So now the conversation with your body and your mind is happening in the background. I think that's what feeling it actually is. I think this is where I am now in my pilot journey. It's easy to get caught up in the next pursuit, the next rating, the next accomplishment. I have over 70 hours of cross-country flight since I got my pilot certificate eight months ago. And of course, I want to get my instrument rating and I'm working on that. But now I think I want to learn basic 
aerobatic flight and just continue to get a feel for flight. My brain knows what to do to make an emergency descent or to prepare for a forced landing, flying at best glide speed. But I don't think that I have the feel quite yet. I have it. I haven't explored it enough. I've spent so much time in goal-oriented flight, getting to a destination, navigating new airports, practicing landings. All of that is necessary and valuable for sure. But I think for me, what's next, what I wanna build on in a conscious way is elevating my sense of feel with flying. In a recent conversation with Kerry McCauley, the author of Fairy Pilot, you should buy it, read it. He was talking about the need to focus on flying by feel. Another thing that I, that I see missed a lot on most new pilots is really getting to learn how to fly an airplane. Most pilots, when they're starting off, you know, they, they'll, they, their idea of a steep bank is 30 degrees and pitching up and pitch down. You know, they're, they're, they're very timid on what they want to do with the airplane. Really learn how to fly that airplane, not just drive it. Cover all that stuff up, look out of the clear parts of the airplane and go fly the dang thing. Don't, don't do maneuvers prescribed by the FAA, feel it. 